What's up guys? Alec Ankeri here. Today I want to talk about my new favorite exercise, the farmer's walk. An exercise that's been obscured mostly to strongman training, but that really should probably be done by just about every single person who steps foot into a gym because arguably it's the most functional weight room exercise in existence. I myself neglected it for many years and only recently discovered its true benefits when necessity forced my hand. And now I enjoy it as much as I enjoy squatting and deadlifting. So today I'm going to go over some of the main benefits of performing farmer's walks on a regular basis so you guys can see for yourselves why you should make them a mainstay in your programming. So let's get to it. Now there are about a million and one reasons why you should be carrying heavy weights across the gym, but I'm going to try to break it down into four main categories. One, they're functional as hell. Two, they build tremendous endurance. Three, they build total body strength and stability. And four, they're just plain fun. Let's start with point number one. Farmer's walks are functional as hell. And as I mentioned in the intro, quite possibly even the most functional weight room exercise in existence. Obviously the term functional is somewhat relative and context dependent, i.e. what's functional for a basketball player isn't necessarily functional for a bodybuilder. But when I'm saying it here, I'm trying to think a bit more broadly. And in terms of being functional for life and living and longevity, I feel that this exercise would have the widest application across the greatest population of people. How often in your daily life are you called to simply pick something up and move it from point A to point B? If you've ever gone on a trip or brought home groceries or moved or picked up a child, then the answer is probably quite often. If you work in any sort of manual labor or blue collar job, then the answer is probably quite often. If you live outside of any of the westernized nations, then the answer is probably even more often. It seems to me that one of the fundamental capacities of being a human is to be able to lift things and relocate them from one place to another using nothing but the power of our bodies. And this fact is inescapable, even in the modern world of luxury and ease. So why not train this capacity to the fullest and in doing so maximize your longevity and being able to perform it? Moving on to point number two, Farmer's walks build tremendous endurance. Obviously, the degree to which you train this capacity is going to depend on how heavy the implements you choose to use are, uh, how far you're able to carry them with each effort, and how long you rest in between efforts. But there will always be an endurance component present when carrying a heavy object, even for short distances. And you can choose to maximize this particular quality by increasing your carry distances or you can choose to shift the focus away from endurance and more towards strength while knowing that just by performing the exercise at all, you'll still always be maintaining at least a base level of conditioning and one that you can improve upon at any time you choose simply by altering how you do the exercise. This leads me to point number three. Farmer's logs build total body strength and stability. It's difficult to find a grouping of muscles that the farmer's log doesn't work because it taxes pretty much every major muscle in the body to varying degrees. Of greatest note, however, are the effects on grip strength, the upper back, the core, and the hips. The effect on grip strength is pretty obvious. You either have to hold on to the weight or you can't go on with the exercise. So the hands and the forearms are obviously heavily taxed. The upper back and the traps have to join the party in order to help the body maintain a proper erect posture, lest the spine begins to hunch and the shoulders begin to sag as gravity bears its evil down onto you. The muscles of the core are called upon to keep the torso tight and stable as the heavy implements threaten to yank you off balance with each step. And lastly, the muscles surrounding the hips are worked in a way unlike any other weight room movement as they're forced to learn how to keep the hips stable to prevent aberrant rotational movement at the pelvis. You'll know you're doing it right because when you wake up the next day, you'll feel an odd sort of soreness surrounding the musculature of your hips. It's not a bad soreness, just clearly something that you've never achieved before, even from other exercises that stress the structures of the hip. In fact, when I first started doing this exercise, anything even remotely heavy caused me to start swaying from side to side with each step like I was 10 shots deep. Yet now, I can walk in a straight line like a sober person, even with maximal weights. The great Dan John refers to this as cross strength. 
the ability to counteract and stabilize unpredictable forces coming at you from all possible directions. It's an effect you can't achieve from squatting and deadlifting alone, but it's clear that possessing this ability creates an overall stronger and healthier pelvic girdle. So now that I've convinced you why you should do farmer's walks from a meathead standpoint, let's wrap this up by allowing me to convince you why you should do them from a child's standpoint. They're just plain fun. A heavy set of farmer's walks is just as challenging to perform as a heavy squat or deadlift and just as fulfilling to succeed with. And for me, something about that level of physical strain and the mental stress that accompanies it is just enjoyable. I relish it. For me, it's literally fun. That's not a boast or an exaggeration, but simply a statement of fact. So if you're anything like me, and I assume you are because you're here watching this video, which means you like lifting weights, then you'll probably think they're fun too. Maybe it's just the endorphins talking, but I recommend you give them a go even if none of the other reasons in this video appeal to you. After all, what the hell is the point of life if you're not having fun? So just a quick recap. Farmer's walks are super functional for humans. Even in spite of the luxuries and regressions of modern society, they're still incredibly valuable. They can help build a solid base of conditioning for athletics or general health. They forge a grip of steel, traps that will make Goldberg jealous, and unprecedented levels of stability around the hips, core, and pelvic girdle. And most importantly, they make meatheads happy by making the weight room fun again. In short, farmer's walks are awesome, and doing them makes you more awesome, so the final verdict is, do them more often. Anyway, that's all I got for now, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to throw a like my way. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're interested in online coaching, be sure to shoot me an email at onkiri.elite at gmail.com so I can pass some more information your way. I've only got a few spots left, so act quickly. Other than that, keep training hard, and I'll catch you guys next time.